Dear colleagues, dear friends, since the end of the Second World War, we have lived by three fundamental principles, freedom, democracy, and the rule of law. And the rule of law is underpinned by the Human Rights Declaration by the UN taken 75 years ago. That's what we're all commemorating. The rule of law as opposed to the rule of force. We saw what happened during the Second World War when dictatorships attacked uh, uh, friendly countries. We're unfortunately seeing the same when Latvia's neighbor Russia is currently brutally attacking and trying to annihilate its neighboring country, Ukraine. The values in Europe, the values throughout the democratic world are being challenged by another autocratic power. Therefore, when we commemorate the 75th anniversary of the Declaration of Human Rights, we have to remember that we cannot take these rights to be self-evident or taken for granted. They were taken, the Declaration, as a result of the terrible tragedy of the Second World War, and they must be protected today in light of what we see Russia trying to do, trying to upturn all of the established order since the end of the Second World War. So when we speak of freedom, democracy, and the rule of law, of course, we're thinking about human rights. In democracies, it's a very fundamental right, freedom of the press, freedom of expression, freedom of political parties, freedom to enjoy life as you think you want to enjoy it, is in direct opposition to that which we see in autocracies around the world, where there are no human rights, there is no press freedom, there is no uh, plurality in politics, and one cannot simply choose to live the way one wants. One must adhere to a established authoritarian dogma or tradition. So as we commemorate the 75th anniversary of the Declaration of Human Rights, let's remember that we all must be vigilant. These rights need to be defended. These rights must be defended. And I am convinced when we all pull our efforts together, these rights will be defended and will prevail.